Hello my loves, how are you doing today? I hope that you're good, that you, your family and your loved ones are healthy, happy and safe. So I'm coming back to you today with another pick a card reading and you have in front of you three options to choose from. You can pick one option or more, the ones that are going to be pulling your attention the most. And of course, if you would need more time, you can just pause the video, meditate on those options and see which one or which ones are going to be today yours to watch. And just so you know, I'm going to be daily uh, sharing on the channel. Channel. so if you would like to get notified when a new video is going to be up on the channel you can subscribe if you are new here and join the family so <laughs> that was about it see you in your reading and i'm gonna start right away with the first option hello mighty option number one so if you have chosen the first option or this deck or some guys you are reading so your future spouse has a message for you what is this message please what is this message that your future spouse has for you let's get three cards the wheel of fortune wow the high priestess oh my goodness and the hierophant <laughs> first of all they're telling you about themselves and second of all, they're almost like telling you that uh, things are coming together when it comes to the both of you. So I really feel like for some of you, it could be that you already know this person, you already are with this person, or you are just right um, about to meet this person. I see that things are, are coming together. This is the message that I'm getting. And they're telling you that their life is getting better. I really feel like when it comes to you, and one of the messages that are coming out very strongly is that when things are starting to stabilize or where are where they're when they're gonna start to stabilize this is the exact moment when you're going to be meeting your future spouse for some of you uh, again you are already with them and this is going to be a very clear message for those of you that can relate to that but i really see that uh, in here your future spouse is telling you that their life is uh, flourishing in a way there is something that they have been working on for quite a bit and now they're uh, having a plan and this plan is working I'm hearing the, the plan is working wonderfully so though they're almost like having a conversation almost with a best friend they're telling you that uh, things are going well things are uh, maybe starting to go up for them I really feel like this person maybe they have been in some sort of a transitionary period in which they would need maybe to make some sort of sacrifices maybe to work very hard maybe to um sacrifice their sleep even and uh, i feel like they are right now in the midst of wrapping things up and just to uh, make certain decisions that are going to be uh, very key for how things are gonna unfold for the rest of their lives i'm hearing so it could be that they are establishing right now some sort of a big change in this change that they have been planning for it's uh like uh, it it's um they're almost like establishing or following the steps and everything is going just as uh, they have hoped uh, for it to go but i really feel like right now uh, i'm hearing the sun is coming up i really feel like when it comes to your future spouse their life is uh, getting more 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 and more positive and everything really that they have been uh, working very hard into achieving now uh, they are starting to uh, like see things uh, coming up for them and uh, almost perceive the early uh, stages of a very huge success that they're going to be reaping soon so let's get some more cards what is the message that your future spouse has for you please six of cups and knight of pentacles i really feel like they're telling you that good things take time and when things come uh, right when they are meant to be it 
it's even like um, you can enjoy them even more and I really feel like they're telling you that even if uh, maybe for those of you that are right now uh, not uh, together with the six of cups in nine of pentacles even if uh, things haven't picked up or you haven't met them yet you are getting really really closer closer towards each other and I feel like when it comes to you their message to you is to follow something that has been uh, that you have been thinking about since you were a child I'm hearing and it's going to be almost allowing the both of you to meet even sooner I feel like there is something in here with this wheel of fortune that is uh, all about the the um laws of cause and effect and I feel like when it comes to you if there is anything that you wanted to do that you have dreamt about doing it doesn't matter uh, like your age doesn't matter your circumstances do not matter when it comes to just even like wishing for it uh, sometimes even in our mind we um, refuse to even wish within our mind in our heart for the things that we want but I feel like the first grains that we put in the soil is our wishes in our dreams and uh, the aspirations that we have for a future that we would like to create so I really feel like sometimes we shut things down uh, even if uh, there is absolutely nothing that we are losing absolutely not when it comes to just imagining things in our minds and just following those uh, little inspirations that we we get from time to time and I really feel like when it comes to you this is the message that they would like to convey to you is that if there is anything that you would like to do anything that you have been dreaming about since you were very young or for those of you since you were children I feel like they're telling you why not why not why not follow it again why not uh, just uh, um, uh, I I'm hearing just c f from time to time uh, when you get something an information an idea um, maybe uh, like some um, push to make some sort of an action uh, the question to ask is why not <laughs> why not it, and they're almost like telling you that with a very playful way like why not uh, you absolutely can do anything and everything that you want to do why not and um, yeah with this knight of pentacles i really feel like it doesn't matter about the the speed with which things go it's all about a sustained uh, action towards the things that you want i really feel like this is uh like a principle in your future spouse's life this is something that uh, they believe uh, like in the core of their being it's something that is one of the most important thing for them they're uh, all about uh, putting sustained action no matter how small it is this is all that matters and this is the message that is coming out so let's get some more cards anything else please that you would like that um, your future spouse would like to convey to you anything else that your future spouse would like to convey to you trust trust the process everything is a process if you don't trust the process you're not gonna uh, like find the way to get to where you want and with this ancestors again destiny is coming up very strongly i wanted to get a third one for some reason i just wanted to get two but one uh, another card wants to come out balance yeah uh, i'm hearing when it comes to them they apply this uh, strategy very consciously of balancing balancing uh, wishful thinking with um, proactive action and uh, i really feel like when it comes to them this is something that they have discovered this is not something that they have done naturally maybe your person they were very much into self-improvement or uh, like very much willing to understand uh, the rules of the game so that they can advance in create the things that they want and i feel like in here uh, they are sent to reap the um the fruits of dealing with uh, their mental state. I really feel like when it comes to them, it's more so a mental uh, work that they have done for quite a bit of time. And now they are starting to see the positive uh, results in the outcomes that they have been working so hard into reaching. So when it comes to you, their message to you is that there is some sort of a middle ground on which you're going to be uh, meeting in here with the uh, high priestess right next to the, this card of balance they're telling you that a balance practicality with 
um, again uh, being a little bit outside of what you think you can create or they think it is realistic because I feel like a mixture of two uh, both those two concepts it creates the impossible and I really feel like when it comes to them your person they have um, experienced very very contrasted ways of living it could be that they have been uh, very much defeated by life they have been maybe going through a very hard times maybe they have uh, started off as being in a very toxic uh, environment it could be different for every single one of you but i really feel like there is a great shift that they have established by their own power of wanting to uh, succeed no matter what and no matter what the challenges the obstacles i'm hearing no matter what and i feel like also in here it is coming up very strongly that both of you are gonna meet no matter what because i feel like they are telling you that you are like i'm hearing you are like me we are two um uh, very hard eggs to crack i'm hearing <laughs> and this is something that i never say but it when it's especially in here with those two rocks you are two people that are very determined so it's not about the determination in here because i really feel like when you put your mind into something there is nothing that actually can shift you away from it but it's about you believing that you can do it and your future spouse they're telling you that you absolutely can and you will uh, this is something that is coming up very strongly. So let's get some additional cards. Anything else that your future spouse wants to convey to you, please? Action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. This is exactly everything that we have been talking about. And look at this card like it, it gets the inspirations. It sees the light even before it's uh, uh, it's like a full daylight. But the first rays of light, first of all, they are there. Your person, they are starting to see the, sh the sunshine coming up in their life. But I really feel like when it comes to them, they take action and they are telling you that we are alike. We are alike. We are two people that we dream and we go after our dreams. And our dream is to be together in a beautiful Beautiful, fulfilling relationship and this is exactly what we're gonna create in this lifetime wow so that was your reading my dear option number one thank you for being here let me know down below how the messages resonated with you i'm sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time Ciao. hello my dear option number two so if you have chosen the second option or this deck welcome guys to your reading so what does your future spouse want to tell you what is the message that your future spouse wants to convey to you let's get some cards Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. And the Knight of Pentacles. First of all, there is an energy that is coming up very strongly, which is the energy of an addition to your family so for those of you that are still wanting to have a child or to adopt a pet there is some sort of an addition that both you and your future spouse but mostly your future spouse in here because we are reading their energy they are looking forward into creating into giving birth to you so i really feel like in here this person first of all they are looking right at this moment right when you are watching this reading this is a timeless reading by the way it has nothing to do with when i'm sharing it but everything to do with when you are watching it so your future spouse right now they are looking for a long time partner with this knight of pentacles i really feel like they are telling you please don't mistake uh, the fact that i'm going to be taking things slow at the beginning with me not willing to take things far uh, they have understood that uh, good things and things uh, worth keeping are the things that we work hard at and that we don't rush so i really feel like your future spouse is telling you that when they are going to be meeting you connecting with you first of all they're going to be seeing the potential in the both of you being together for the long run and that's why they're not going to be going too fast or maybe rushing into uh, a relationship before it's going to be uh, the right time for the both of you to get involved or maybe to move into the next level and i really feel like this person they're telling you that i'm not the uh, most romantic person but uh i, I like i am i, I wow uh I, this person they are coming out as very sacrificial uh 
like it, the energy is quite overwhelming like when this person they love and they give and they are connected to someone and they cherish the connection that they have with the person this person they 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 truly love very deeply but they are not very much expressive when it comes to their love but they, they're telling you you are not gonna miss my love this is not something that you're gonna miss but they're telling you also that uh, you they are not romantic in um like a hollywood movie kind of way but there's someone that you can rely on someone that is going to be a uh, very much a rock uh, in your life someone that you can um like very much not only trust but trust with anything and everything in your life so i really feel like this this person i'm gonna be very honest like this person is truly a catch if for those of you that are looking for a long time partner this is exactly someone with which you can plan for the future you can build uh, something that is worth uh, having because i really feel like when it comes to them they're coming i'm hearing from a very emotionally stable home and also i feel like uh, their home has been stable and they have um, excuse me benefited and enjoyed uh, and also they appreciate the structure in which they have um yeah, they have been uh, raised i'm hearing so they grew up in an environment that was very stable that was very calm everything was uh i'm not saying that uh, everything was perfect but when it comes to them this is the message that they convey to you they know what it feels like to be in a healthy relationship and this is exactly what they want to establish with you and what they want to establish in the future this is also someone that when you're gonna meet slowly but surely they're gonna start asking the right questions i'm hearing so they're gonna be asking you as an example what do you do maybe to um uh, like uh, de-stress or like certain questions that people generally don't ask but when it comes to them it's something that is very important like the day-to-day -day life the things that you do in your everyday life the routine the things that can establish a good um uh, like energy level when it comes to you and also when it comes to them this is something that is very important to them so i really feel like for those of you that are looking for a partner with which you want to have a family you have hit this jackpot and you're going to be hitting the jackpot when it comes to this person this is absolutely someone that has uh at least uh, like this energy that i'm feeling they really uh, give me very very good uh vibes in terms of someone that you would like to establish uh, a family or maybe create a home with yeah seven of pentacles they're not gonna rush things they are coming out here as the emperor for those of you that feel like you're going to be burdened or anything when it comes to your relationship if you are okay they're telling you something they're telling you that if you're going to be meeting someone and you feel heavy this is not me because when when it comes to them there's someone that can take a lot on their shoulders and they're coming out as the ace of pentacles and knight of pentacles this is someone with um i'm hearing with strong shoulders even physically they're telling you that i am strong i can take it i can uh, be there i can persevere i'm someone that is strong like mentally and also physically and uh, also they're telling you that um taking the time when it comes to anything it uh, makes things not only enjoyable but it makes it uh, it makes us appreciative for the things that we have and with this seven of pentacles they're telling you as well that uh, fear not th the fact that maybe you have certain things that you want to do or certain things that you want to establish because they're telling you that everything that maybe you have been planning for there is going to be a possibility for the both of you to meet i'm hearing uniting forces this is what i'm hearing so uh, i'm hearing marriage uh, because in here it's uh, very clear so that uh, for some of you uh, for uh, most of you if not for all of you this is going to be an actual traditional marriage in which you're going to be um establishing uh, some rules within the household and they're telling you that uh, marriage is gonna take things up 
it's not gonna be a translation when it comes to maybe your career or when it comes to the things that you want in terms of stagnation absolutely not we are working together and we are growing together and i see that with this ace of pentacles also like a lot of people are going to be telling you that things have changed or things are going to change when you're going to be meeting this person but they're going to be giving you like uh, in in a positive way as in a compliment like uh, maybe so you're going to be establishing uh, another routine or maybe strengthening certain uh, practices that you wanted to establish in your daily routine but i really feel like this is a very very positive connection that you're going to be in let's get some more cards sexuality flexibility i almost read it as a uh, fertility but uh, anyways let's get one more gratitude yeah look at that this is exactly what i have been hearing over and over again this is someone that is first of all grateful to you even before you're gonna meet for most of you you don't know this person you haven't met them i feel like next year is going to be key for the both of you either to know about each other or or there is some th sort of an uh step up that is going to be permitting you to connect with each other for those of you that are younger maybe you're going to be making a decision that is going to be putting you on the path to meet this person but i really feel like next year for all those of you that are looking right now because i really feel like this person is ready uh i feel like for those of you that are also wanting right now maybe to seek a partner a long term uh like a connection in here this person there is a very much uh, great possibility for the both of you to meet in 2024 or in the next year it doesn't matter when you are watching this reading so let's get uh, one more card Ah, I, I forgot about those two cards, sorry. So with this sexuality and flexibility, I really feel like both of you are going to be giving each other a lot of inspiration. As I have told you, this is coming up very strongly is that so for some of you and let me know down below if it is the case like for some of you think that maybe if i'm going to be getting married i'm going to be like almost burying my dreams or maybe uh like letting go of the things that i want to do or maybe putting an end to my career or whatever the messages that sometimes uh, pop up in your mind this is not going to be the case in this relationship because i see that both of you are very much too independent and too uh, ambitious people and this marriage is going to be helping you again this m m uh, message is coming up very strongly to unite forces to move uh, in uh, to move up and level up even and go even further so let's get uh, one last card trust leap into the unknown have faith and move forward believe you will fly I feel like this person they believe in you and this person they're gonna be someone that is gonna be uh, i'm hearing your sponsor for some of you but uh i'm hearing um it's almost like uh, uh you know when when there is something and you put all your money uh, into it or um this is what I see what I see when it comes to them. They really, really believe in your capabilities and skills. There's, this is someone that actually can see uh, that you uh, maybe you have certain dreams or you want certain things and you feel like maybe I'm not the best person to get them at that or maybe not the right person for that. I really feel like when it comes to them, they're going to be giving you a lot of compliments and they're going to be giving you like practical um support for some of you again they might be someone that is going to be sponsoring something that uh, you want or maybe um, like you're going to be starting a business with each other or there is some sort of a joint um, mission or maybe joint um, uh, like plan that you're going to be subscribing to you and your future spouse and i'm hearing in here with this trust this is really someone that is going to be uh, this is for some of you are already like trying to establish that you know when you are working on that but this is just their message to you is that they're going to be really trusting in you and trusting in your capabilities and seeing that there is nothing in this whole world that you are not capable into achieving this is uh, like i'm hearing this is uh, a fact this is a fact okay 
<laughs> so that was your reading my dear option number two thank you for being here let me know down below how the messages resonated with you i'm sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time Bye. hello my dear option number three so if you have chosen the third option or this deck welcome guys to your reading so let's look into the message that your future spouse has for you so what is the message that they would like to convey to you please let's get three cards what is the message please first of all they tell me that they love you oh this person they're gonna fall wow oh my god this person oh my god they're gonna fall i'm here with like never before oh my goodness this person they're gonna absolutely love you absolutely love you and maybe you're not going to be even aware of how much they love you when you're going to be with each other. Maybe they're going to have some sort of... Uh, I'm hearing I'm too prideful to let you know just how much I love you. And uh, it, it might be from your side. It might be even funny. It might be even a game that you play with each other. <laughs> But there is no doubt about that, my dear. Option number three, this person is going to fall. Uh, th th this is this is some... Uh, and it's going to be quite fast as well. That's why it's going to be shaking them a little bit. They can, uh, they're telling me right now that uh, uh, it's almost like uh, you are throwing someone in a river and they can't swim. So this is what they're not going to expect it at all. Maybe this meeting is going to be very unexpected in a place where uh, normally you are not meeting people to date or just to hang out. Or it, it, They're going to be really, really, uh, I'm hearing out of my game, not, uh, not prepared, something, uh, it, it's really going to be shaking them to the core. I really feel like when it comes to you, this is something inexplicable to them. That's why it's coming off so strongly in here. It, they, when they're going to see you, they're going to, it's immediate. It's immediate. And this is the message that they're telling you. They're telling you that my love for you is going to be effortless. And this is how you're going to recognize me. And this is how you're going to know me. Like uh, when we meet, that's it. That's it. There is no trying, there is no waiting, there is no thinking, there is no um, like uh, doubting, there is no confusion, there is absolutely not. This is a relationship that is as clear as daylight. There is no doubting that this person, they're telling you like uh, when we're going to meet, I'm going to have a plan and that's it. So... It, uh, even in the future, and this is just uh, between us, okay? <laughs> if there's someone that is going to be maybe uh, taking too much time to approach you or uh, that you're going to doubt or that it, the situation might be too confusing, this is not the energy of your future spouse. Your future spouse, their energy is very, very clear. And they're not going to shy away from showing it off. I mean, uh, this person that when uh, they might flirt or they might uh, uh, maybe, I'm hearing even unintentionally, some people might see some changes in their behavior or maybe some people might just know intuitively that they are very much into you. And some people might even tell you, like, if you're going to be meeting this person, maybe in a social setting or anything, some people might tell you that, yeah, this person, they definitely like you. And you're not even going to need those people to tell you that this is just going to be a remark because for them, it's not something that they can hide. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Six of Cups. And the six of swords okay number six in here also we have the number six this is the only number that we see in here number six is a very practical number it's a very physical number so your person again when they're gonna see you they're gonna sprint into action this is not someone that is going to be hanging around just watching you like coming and going no 
so this person they they are someone that is going to be very proactive uh, but they're telling you i'm not like that with anybody like uh, if you were to know how i really am you're gonna be very surprised so you might have maybe an idea about them that maybe they are very relaxed into approaching people or maybe just um rushing into maybe getting to know you more or maybe asking a lot of questions about you or a lot of questions to you but it's not something that they do with everybody because i see in here like this person they're pulling uh this tea into just one cup they're not pulling in every cup that they meet and also in here as you can see this person they are uh, almost when they're gonna meet you and when they're gonna connect with you first they're telling you that uh, they're gonna try to have a plan to ground the connection and ground their emotions that they have towards you this person they're gonna be very much uh out of their comfort zone and out of uh, how they navigated things in the past this person they are generally someone that is more um sturdy more grounded more uh let's get to know each other let's not rush into things but i really feel like this is something that is very different this is something that you're gonna let me tell you something especially in here with the six of cups and six of swords this person they might have uh gotten a lot of messages from their family members that they are uh unpleasable i'm hearing that uh, they are looking for something or someone that doesn't exist and they might have had maybe uh, the impression they're telling me right now that they wanted certain things that they can't uh, find in people or that they can't have in life but i really feel like it's not about that because it's about an immediate recognition uh, and when they're gonna see you they're gonna recognize you this is what i see very strongly like your future spouse they're telling you that do not even worry a second about me missing your energy i'm not gonna miss it uh, i'm hearing it's impossible but this is really wow self-love this is look at that oh my goodness this is such a beautiful healing energy guys this is I'm hearing this person, they're going to um, come towards you with their heart on their sleeves. This is really someone that is going to be uh, very emotionally moved, healthy boundaries, emotionally moved by your first interaction for some reason, because it's coming up very, very strongly. They're going to see you as someone that is very uh, calm, collected, uh, confident, um, warm but not uh i'm hearing warm but not flirty for some reason warm but not flirty they're gonna feel comfortable with you they're gonna want to approach you want to connect with you but it's not something that is going to be almost a lot they they almost like see a, some sort of a barrier or some sort of a wall but it's a very healthy wall wall acceptance and patience I feel like the energy when it comes to them, they're telling you that it's going to be sh shifting or it's going to be almost like getting inverted, I'm hearing. Because I feel like they uh, were the, the kind of person that wanted to take things slow, that wanted not to rush into things, that wanted to maybe uh, take their time into connecting with others. But I feel like when they're going to connect with you, it's going to be the other way around. You are going to be the one wanting to wait, wanting not to rush things and it's really something that is going to be uh, putting them in a position that they have never been before maybe this person they have uh, had a lot of opportunities in which they could maybe have like uh, get married or maybe advance with uh, some previous partners or maybe one partner in the past but in here uh, they never they, it, something wasn't right i'm hearing something wasn't right and again they might have been criticized by their family uh, members or maybe friends that there's someone that uh, is just uh, non-committal or they're just not wanting to get married or you just like let it um, uh, not if, if it's not something for them that then they just need to let it uh, on the side and not really look for 
a stable connection but it's really not the case and when they're gonna meet you they're gonna realize that i feel like they themselves they might have doubted like why am i like that why can't i meet someone that i'm going to be having this desire and this drive to be with them like for the rest of my life why is every like they're asking the question those questions why um Am I in the midst of all those kind of people around me that have no problem like settling down? This is something that they want. That's why people like they cannot understand them because this is actually something that they want, but they can't find someone that they can build their life with and that they can merge and create something with in the future but i really feel like it's something that is gonna just click when the both of you are gonna be uh, meeting for the first time and your person they're gonna really really take charge when it comes to your connection compassion be gentle with yourself forgiveness will set you free see the light in yourself in others so i really feel like there is something that is quite pure um magnetic sexy there are certain things about you that sometimes we can't find them in one person to be honest with this receive this person they're gonna be very much a giver and you are someone that gives in emotions and love and compassion and empathy when it comes to them and this is something that they're gonna re recognize very quickly i'm hearing in here especially with uh, those cards that are uh, that have a lot of uh, purple uh, and also there is a lot of orange in your deck that this person really their love for you it's almost going to be inexplicable again and uh, the attraction is going to be off the charts this is something very strong especially in here because the only numbers that we have uh, on the spread are number six number six is a very material down-to-earth number and it's all about bodily pleasures so this person they're going to be absolutely loving every inch of your body this is something uh, there is absolutely no doubt about that <laughs> okay so they're telling you that i am the person for you and the person that uh, i am is not going to be missing a chance not even trying not even attempting to risk and take like uh, almost uh, not take action so if there is anybody that is not taking action maybe uh, your person they're telling you that i'm gonna be taking action right away i'm gonna be recognizing that um something about you that i can't explain but are all i like in my whole being in my whole body in my whole heart we are as a whole like my emotions my um like body we want to be with you and we want to, to merge together and build a li uh, our life together in the future so this is uh like uh, your person they are coming up very strongly and again uh, just to let you know that uh, the uh, sexual attraction between the both of you really is going to be uh, not something that even people they can't miss it okay <laughs> so that was your reading my dear option number three thank you for being here let me know down below how the messages resonated with you i'm sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time Bye.